guys, welcome back to Belky's Twist. Today I am making for you Cuban mojo pork in the slow cooker. So that is a perfect recipe, for example, today, which is Sunday, and we're watching football and you season your pork with your mojo sauce and you just let it cook for a few hours while you enjoy the game and hang out. So super simple fast and absolutely delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to start by putting all the ingredients for the mojo sauce in my, in this case I have a Nutribullet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add cilantro. And I took the stems off because it's just better that way. Mint, a nice handful of mint. This is oregano, cumin, a little bit of pepper, I was gonna say salt. <laughs> this is salt. We're gonna do about eight to 10 cloves of garlic, orange juice. If you can see, everything's gonna meld in very well together. And then some lime juice. We're gonna cover it up and we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice, I'm gonna do little pulses it would help if I turned it on. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I'm gonna pulse just to start because it makes me feel better if I do that. And if you wanna see this nicely melted in, see, look at that, beautiful. And now I am going to go ahead and add olive oil. Here we go. I like to add the olive oil at the end. Don't ask me why. It's just my preference. I'm going to go ahead and give it another pulse. And that's it. It's ready to go. Wasn't that simple? Okay, so we're going to go ahead now and season the pork. And this is the fun part for me because I want to make sure I get it into every little crevice. I'm actually going to put it in here. Let's do this. I'm going to pour it right in here just so that I can go ahead. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Mm, it's going to be so good. So we're going to do take this pork that you see right here. And I think this is this one opens up. Yeah, look. It, oh, this is going to be perfection. So I'm going to go ahead and add it right to the top, just a little bit, the top, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some right in that middle center that I just showed you. And I'm going to make sure I massage it really, really well into the pork. A little bit more, and it's gonna be messy, but you know what? Everyone gets messy when they're cooking, especially me. And of course, I made sure I washed my hands before I did all this. And that's it. So this is ready. And now we're going to go ahead and put it in our slow cooker. Here I have the base uh, for my slow cooker and I'm going to go ahead and put this baby right in here. Ah, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm so excited. And I'm going to take the mojo sauce and pour it right over it. Oh, beautiful. And I'm going to be reserving this leftover mojo sauce because we're gonna make an actual sauce to go with it at the end. Right now, this baby is going into the slow cooker for five to six hours on high or eight to 10 on low. After that, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven to give it some color, and then we're gonna break it apart. It's going to be delicious, guaranteed. Okay, here we go. We have our mojo pork ready. Ah, it looks beautiful. And this baby, mm, feels nice and cooked through, is actually going to go now into the oven to get some color. <laughs> now, putting it into the oven is gonna be the um, question here, but I think I've got it. Ooh, there we go. 
and I'm not going to use this juice, although you might want to come and check it out because it's beautiful. <laughs> look at all this juice. Oh my God. It's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. So I'm actually going to leave that there and I'm going to make a little roux with it later. But, um, and I'm going to try those little pieces too. But anyway, so now this is going to go into the oven at 400 until I feel that it has good color. Now, if you notice, there's like the seasoning on top, which is the mojo sauce right there. So if you check it out, it's like a little bit of a layer. I want this layer to look brown and then I'm just going to break it up really nice. So wish me luck. I'm hoping anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes. See you in a little bit. Okay, off I go. Now that our pork is in the oven, we're going to go ahead and take the juices from the pork, which is a lot. And I'm gonna find a way to drain it in here. There you go. Draining it into this pot. Ooh, yum. And I am adding one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of water. I'm mixing it well together. And then I'm putting that right in here into our drippings. Oh my God, look at that. It's gorgeous. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so now that this is done, I'm just gonna let it thicken up while the meat is in the oven, I'm just gonna let this thicken up and it'll be beautiful to drizzle over it. And some other stuff I'm making after with the leftovers. That is the gift of this type of cooking is the leftovers, they're a, a real gift. So I'll come right back in a little bit and we'll continue our cooking. We are here ready. Look at this beauty. We just took her out of the oven and look at that skin. Oh my God, it's perfection. So now I just start to break this baby up and break her up and break her up and that's all I'm gonna do for a little while. And our sauce that I started, if you want to come and check it out, it's ready. It looks really, really good. It's almost like a gravy. It reminds me of like an American turkey gravy. So that's basically what you're gonna get and you'll be able to just put it all over that mojo pork. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. Of course, I'm gonna taste a piece and then I'm gonna keep going. If you notice, it's already getting darker outside because you know this is a labor of love, right? If you want good food, you gotta work at it. So I'm gonna take a quick bite out of this one. Oh, oh, hot. <laughs> so hot. Holy, holy, oh God. I want to curse. I can't curse. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's really good. It's just really hot. Oh, man. You're not kidding, are you? It's delicious. So you're going to see it in the pictures because I'm going to serve it with guandules, with arroz con guandules, which is rice with like pigeon peas. It's a very delicious Dominican, obviously Dominican rice, Cuban pork, you know, mojo pork. So it's a perfect combination, but you'll see it in the post. I really hope that you guys make it. Let me know if you do. And in the meantime, I'm gonna keep burning my mouth <laughs> and just and shredding this. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm, just look at that, oh my God. It's really perfect. Mm. Thank you for watching, guys.